Welcome to Act Notes Tutorials, my name is Bert, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on cost variances as they pertain to earned value management. What is a cost variance? A cost variance is an earned value management tool. It indicates how much over or under budget the project is. It is used to track expense line items, but can also be tracked at the project level, as long as there is a budget allocated to the item. Cost variance is used by the program manager and program personnel to determine how best to utilize their remaining resources. The definition of a cost variance is the difference between the actual cost incurred, and the planned budgeted cost at a given time on a project. There are three cost variance outcomes in earned value management. These outcomes are A positive result means a project is under budget. A negative result means a project is over budget. And finally, a zero result means a project is on budget. There are four different cost variance methods that are commonly used in earned value management. They are Cost variance Cost variance percentage Cost performance indicator, CPI And finally, to complete cost performance indicator, DCPI I will now go into more detail on each type. Cost variance is the first type. It is calculated using the following formulas. Cost variance equals earned value minus actual cost. It is also calculated by Cost variance equals budget cost work performed minus actual cost work performed. Cost variance indicates how much over or under budget the project is. A positive result indicates how much under budget the project is. And a negative result indicates how much over budget the project is. The second cost variance type is cost variance percentage. Cost variance percentage can be calculated as using the following formulas. Cost variance percentage equals cost variance divided by earned value. And, cost variance percentage equals cost variance divided by budgeted cost of work performed. Cost variance percent indicates how much over or under budget the project is in terms of percentage. A positive percentage indicates how much under budget the project is in terms of percentage. A negative percentage indicates how much over budget the project is in terms of percentage. The third cost variance type is cost performance indicator or CPI. Cost performance indicator can be calculated using the following formulas. CPI equals earned value divided by actual cost. And, CPI equals budgeted cost work performed divided by actual cost work performed. CPI is an index showing the efficiency of the utilization of the resources on the project. A CPI greater than 1 indicates efficiency in utilizing the resources allocated to the project is good. A CPI less than 1 indicates efficiency in utilizing the resources allocated to the project is not good. The final cost variance is to complete cost performance indicator or TCPI. To complete cost performance indicator can be calculated using the following formulas. DCPI equals total budget minus earned value divided by total budget minus actual cost. And, TCPI equals total budget minus budgeted cost work performed divided by total budget minus actual cost work performed. TCPI is an index showing the efficiency at which the resources on the project should be utilized for the remainder of the project. If the results are A TCPI greater than 1 indicates utilization of the project team for the remainder of the project can be stringent. A TCPI less than 1 indicates utilization of the project team for the remainder of the project should be lenient. An example of a CV is if a company had actual purchase expenses for June of $1,000 but the budgeted amount for June was $600. The company had a cost variance of $400. This is an unfavorable CV because the actual cost is more than the budgeted amount. Thank you for watching this tutorial on cost variances. For more information visit the webpage. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.